Hey YouTube, you may be looking at this team thinking, Dan, are you becoming a Spice Lord? Or are you just such an amazing team creator that you have thought so outside the box to create the greatest team that has ever lived? Or are you being a hypocrite and tanking before a go battle day? The third one. <laughs> so let's look at these terrible battles why Doug Trio is garbage and why I, despite uh, constantly calling out legend players for tanking, I'm also tanking for this Go Battle Day weekend. So, uh, the team, whatever. I want to try Shadow Pinsir because I had it built up. It, Shadow Pinsir is actually not bad because it can like close combat pretty much everything. Uh, I mean, not everything. Not the ghosts or poisons. But it's really good at grabbing shields. Superior is just like a cheaper version of Meganium, quite on it. Like a, like a, a less strong, like less, uh, probably less bulky. Um, let me actually just look that up to confirm that it's less bulky. I'm pretty sure it's just a less bulky, uh, less better second move version of Meganium. So Meganium, sorry. Uh, yeah, attack. Meganium has a one higher attack, five lower defense, and two more stamina. So they're basically comparable. 2026 overall for Superior versus 2005 for Meganium. Both have Vine Weapon Frenzy Plant, which is amazing. Uh, it's just a secondary move, Aerial Ace versus Earthquake. So obviously Earthquake is a superior hat, superior move um, to Aerial Ace, which is one of the worst of the games. And then Earthquake actually gives you cover. So Meganium is obviously your first choice, but if you don't have it, not a bad second option. Or if you want to go do Double Grass, that's an option there. Dark Trio, but Trio, what you saw a win there, um, it was my only win in, out of 10 games. <laughs> so I went one and nine with this team. Doug Shio's garbage. I tried to save two shields for it, but it just gets like counter down and and like just hit down with most things. I try. I had shields. I had a shield advantage, and I tried to like stone at something and didn't stone. Like you're, it's just bad. Anyways, go battle day. So, uh, hundred battles tomorrow, Saturday, and hundred battles on Sunday, which is quite a lot of battles uh, for a weekend. And four times wind dust, right? Which is amazing. If you watched my impromptu stream, not impromptu, sorry, impromptu, but my stream on um, Wednesday, Home Slice brought up that hey, they leaked uh, that they're giving XL candies as the second win task in the premium. So the premium is you have to use your, your green pass, um, and the second one where it's usually like an item is a, is an XL candy. So that is huge. Um, now, is it worth it to tank and try and, and use premium passes to try and get these XLs? Because that's 20 sets per day, two days is 40 green passes. That's quite a lot of green passes. Um, if you look at like the best box, the great box that is on, has 15, uh, 15 green passes for about a thousand coins. So that's ten dollars. So if you get three of those, essentially, uh, you're you're essentially trying to sp spend like thirty dollars to try and get XL candies. So is it worth it? On the surface, probably not, because if you do a raid, like if you really care about XL candies, if you do an in-person raid with those, you get the three drop candies plus the three XL minimum for catching. So that's like six L candies for each Pokemon. So why are people, I'm just gonna get counter down here. Jeez. So why are people, including myself, doing it? So it's, it's there's two reasons. I'm a free to play player and I have 90 green passes because I cannot, I, if you watch my vlog yesterday that I put up, I've tried to do a raid hour and the community wasn't there. It just It's very, very tough to actually raid a lot of these things. So I'm just stuck with so many green passes for starters as a free play player. So they're just kind of sitting in my bag. The second issue is, yes, that's great that you can get three rare candies plus three rare candies, maybe more. So you can get like six, seven, maybe eight rare candies, XLs, sorry, yeah, XL candies per raid. Um... So why are you doing eight versus one? Well, there's two reasons. One is 
there may be Pokemon that you... I mean, the first, the most obvious one is those Pokemon that were not in raids that are like mythical or legendary, like Meloetta, Zerud. Um, what other ones are there? Is Cosmog, I guess Cosmog's to a certain extent is going to be one, right? There's all these Pokemon that you're realistically not going to be able to raid for anytime soon. So if you want to build them, you need the XL candies in your item bag. So that is the main reason. And then the second reason is also, also like, uh, some of these Pokemon just may not come back for a while, right? Like, when is the last time we had Dialga? Uh, when is the next? We had Zacian somewhat recently, and I grinded hard for that, and I'm still 50 XL candy short for that. So, like, when's the next time Zacian's gonna come back? A year? Like, are you? So, the thing is, like, are you gonna try and sit out? A year in the hopes that it comes back and you can get your XL candies that way, or do you just spend the XL can spend the premium pass and try and get these XL candies? So you need two wins, which is realistically not that hard to do. It's only a forty percent per per um, only forty percent per set of five. Uh, it's a lot easier. So I hit on on stream. I went sixteen and four. <laughs> so I started sixteen and four. I think I'm going to use some of those teams during the Go Battle Day because I went sixteen and four on stream and hit veteran. Uh, and then I tried to spice it up with Doug Trio and I forget not these two but a couple others. And I went zero and five. And then I was like, I know I'm going to hit legend. I want to do all the sets this weekend. Like I'm I'm. I won't be home till like late Saturday, but I'm going to just do, it's going to be annoying. I'm going to get home at like five o'clock on Saturday and just have to grind for like six hours straight before bed. Uh, and then Sunday I'll do all of them and I'll stream, I'll stream on Sunday. So probably around like one ish. If you, if you're around 1 PM, people say, you need to talk about what, where you're actually from the Dan Ottawa I should give it away, but I'm Eastern EDT. Um, so it's, Oh, well, actually, my videos go up at 7:30 a.m. on the weekdays, and then at 8:30 on the weekend. So, yeah, so like one o'clock ish. I'm gonna try and stream if you are around. Um, so I plan to push on the weekend, which is probably gonna be a lot easier to push. Yeah. So like, I went one nine with it. So I was at 2,500. I went one nine with this team. I tried a triple counter team, which I actually like went like three and two and four and one in the two sets that I use that team. I'm just like, uh, fine. <laughs> so I'm at like 23 60 ish right now, which is still kind of high. So when you're watching this video, if you ran into me this morning and you're like, why did you win like one game and quit? I'm, I'm basically trying to go five and 20 today. Um, because it's still 2,700 dust for a one win. So if I can get that 2,700 dust plus, uh, plus the end of set, that's still like 5,000, probably more, five, 6,000. So it's still like 25, 30,000 dust for a five set. And then one in four times five, I don't know, down 40. So I should be down to like down 200. So I'll be at like 2150 ish heading into this weekend is my goal. And then my goal is to push a bit on this weekend, probably get me back up to like veteran ish is my goal. So push back to like 300, 350 yellow, get 2,500, maybe a bit more. We'll see how it goes. And then I'll come with you with a bunch of teams from that. Um, if you want to go watch the stream, I think you can go, I think there's like a live section or yeah, I think there's like a live section in, in, uh, my community or my page, my YouTube page, if you want to go watch the battles. So I did go f like eight and Eight and two with the fighter team, double fighter, like tongue double fighter. So I will be using that on Go Battle Day for sure. I went five and zero with Phalanx, and Phalanx is like really interesting and really strong on the lead. So Phalanx, Phalanx, Nine Tails, and Berserker. I went five and zero with that team, and then I tried a triple shadow team, and I went three and two. Um, yeah. So I'll use a bunch of teams, probably similar to those. Uh similar to those and then i will showcase those on monday tuesday wednesday probably won't play master league premiere at all 
I really wanted to try my, my legend team, but with waterfall Gyarados, because I think that's a great way around it. You still have uh, Metagross and Dragonite, which will deal with the other dragons. So if you get a waterfall Gyarados, that's fine. Uh, and then the waterfall Gyarados will be better for all the fairies I expect. Right? So I wanted to try that team, but the battles are longer for starters. And I've already seen, this is just from a YouTube perspective, I, I'm very analytical when it comes to like, what do people actually want to watch here? And I saw, I always, you can tell there's a, there's a, there's a benchmark. Um, there's a benchmark for view counts for these, all these content creators in the Pokemon Go space. Um, so let me just bring it up to give you an idea of just playing like a ballpark. So for me, again, this is just more YouTube stuff related, but it gives me, it gives me an idea of what people will care about watching and don't care about watching. Um, so yeah, so rise. So I've scratched a bunch of them. Um, like rise is hovering like he only posts like once every like other day or so. So he's at like four to eight K per Callum is kind of on his own because he's always spicy, but he like, his is just like mega spice. So it's always unique enough that it's, you go, you want to watch it. So he's at like the, um, like seven to 10 K range for his videos after the thing. Home slice and Yonkis are both at about just over a thousand per hour. So like after 24 hours, home slice will be like 23, 25,000. Yonkis is a little less because he posts two videos per day, but you can really see that a, a couple of these guys tried like showcasing a match league premiere or doing like top teams for premiere and my match league premiere video yesterday. were all quite low on the click through rate and watch time and everything and views. So it, it's, everyone's basically saying, and same thing, like, um, it, it look, it, yeah, like Yonkis' talk team is top 10 teams from Wrestling Premier is way below the 1,000 per hour thing. So it that's just, and I see an impulse too. It, no one wants to play Wrestling Premier. <laughs> Everyone wants to play single typing cup. So I think I'm just going to come, that's my super long analytical in the, in the weeds way of saying the majority of you want to see single typing teams. So I'm going to just grind single typing cup for all weekend. So stay tuned for what is probably going to be like six teams over three days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then we finally get to switch up the leagues. Um, on the Thursday, which I believe is, yeah, Master League Open. So no thank you. And then Great League Retro Cup, which has a lot of options because it's only banning a couple of typings. Uh, but anyways, that is it. Uh, let me know what you think about <laughs> this tanking. I'm firmly, it's so funny because I'm so firmly against it. Usually, I think it's earlier in, in the season that like, I was only at 2,500 yellow anyway. So if I drop like 300 yellow, that's not like substantial. Like I don't hit legend to like the last like month of the season anyways. It's, it's the people who are like front page leaderboard that go down to like 1,500 yellow and then run 90 wins in a row. And just like, I'm so amazing. It's like, you are amazing, but no, you're not amazing for doing that. Anyways, I'll probably use some premium because um, I said I, I'm, I'm holding on to so many. Plus, with the premium rewards, you get like more Stardust and stuff. And I'm a, I'm on a grind for Stardust. I'm at like 10.8 million, um, and I want to grind Dust this weekend. So that is my actually like my two goals this weekend are Dust, XL candies, three goals, Dust, XL candy, and um, and grinding some push put back to veteran. Anyways, that's it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're like, Dan, you're a hypocrite. Why are you doing this? You're so stupid. I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll agree with that. But <laughs> that is what I think I'm going to do. Anyways, that's it. Appreciate watching. Uh, have a good weekend and long weekend. Canada Day is this weekend here. And I know America is like three or three more days later. So for July 4th. So I assume that either you're going to be, many of you will be busy or away. Like I, like I said, I'm away from like, when this is live, I'm pretty much on the road uh, and I'll be gone for like 24, 48 hours. So 
See you guys on Sunday if you're around.